Patience finally paid off for the Seven Rivers football team. They picked up win number one last Friday with the road victory at St. John's Country Day. That was big for us. We needed that. That was awesome as a team. It was just an amazing team effort what happened that night. We just came together. We meshed really well. The O-line did great. We didn't give up any sacks. The quarterback was barely pressured. We got the run game going good. None of our running backs got hit behind the line of scrimmage. It all started with them and it finished with them. It's kind of like getting right over that, that hump and uh, teaching the kids how to win. Winning it's hard to do and they, they're figuring it out. They, they're going, okay, this is what feels like. This is what it takes to win. So this week we're making sure we're raising the bar. Um, we're not satisfied with one win. Having to fight for wins hasn't been the only difficult situation for Seven Rivers this year. I'm wondering if they'll have enough players on Friday nights, but they say that hasn't affected their focus. It's a little scary sometimes only having like two other guys on the sideline, just worrying about who's going to go down, who has to go in, but it always works out. And we always, everyone's so sacrificing on this team. Everyone's willing to do different jobs. Go, uh, special players go on the line. It's just a very willing team and it's awesome. Our school thing is, is grit and uh, we, we don't count our numbers. We don't look at how big or how small the other team is. We just say, hey, we're going to get after it. We're going to be gritty. We're going to play football. And we're going we're gonna to do what we got to do. We all have passion. We don't have any guys out here that don't want to be here. Everybody out here wants to be out here. Everybody out here wants to fight. Everybody out here wants to win. And uh, we knew it was going to be a tough year. It was rebuilding. We're still rebuilding. But everybody out here wants to be here, and we're going to make it happen. Friday night is rivalry night as they welcome in Ocala Christian Academy and an opportunity to start a winning streak execution over emotion. Uh, rivalry get weeks, you know how that goes. It gets emotional. But we tell our guys, focus in on doing your job, execute your plays, let that trump any type of emotions you may have during the game. And our guys are doing a good job of that. It all starts with the O-line again. We have to, they have to make sure that they, that they perform good, just like they did last week. If the O-line plays like they did last week and our receivers run routes and our running backs run the ball, it'll be a good game. Executing before we uh, put show our emotion, making sure we get the plays in before we think about the rivalry. Uh, but it's going to be an awesome game. It's going to be fun. We know, we know there's some beef there, and I'm, I'm sure OCA is ready for it too.